Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carries.net, and this video is going to be reviewing the SwiftKey keyboard for the Android operating system. Um, this is just one of several videos that we're doing for a kind of keyboard face-off on our site Carries.net. So definitely check out the article there for more videos, or just check out our YouTube video for all the videos. Um, we're going to be reviewing about 12 different keyboards for the Android operating system and kind of making recommendations based on each one. So again, definitely make sure to check out the article. Also, in each video, the first couple minutes is going to be the basic features just to get you oriented with the keyboard that we're reviewing. And then the last part of the video is going to be more of the advanced features and settings. I'll make a note of that um, while I'm talking in the video. So if you just want to see the basic offerings of the keyboard, just stick around for that and you can piece afterwards. Otherwise, stick around for the full video to see every kind of nook and cranny that of the keyboard and every feature that it has to offer. So. Jumping into it, after you download your SwiftKey keyboard, what you're going to want to do is go into your settings and enable that keyboard. So we're going to go to language and keyboard. We're going to go down. We're going to make sure SwiftKey has the green check mark next to it. Also, what you're going to want to do is go into your SwiftKey settings, go to your language modules, language module selection and select the language you want. You want to make sure you do this before starting SwiftKey so that it can download the appropriate dictionary to help predict the words. Otherwise, it's almost a useless keyboard if you don't select your language. So definitely make sure to do that first. So let's go into our messaging application. To enable SwiftKey the first time, what you're going to want to do, let's just delete that real fast, is long press on your input bar and select your keyboard from the list of installed keyboards and activated keyboards you have. So we're just going to click on Swift Key Trial. We're going to click back on our input and away we go. So this is a really nice keyboard, gray on gray theme, very easy on the eyes. Uh, Swift Key is the keyboard that I use on my HTC Evo. I absolutely love it. Um, and as you can see, very basic QWERTY style keyboard. On the left you have Shift. And since it's already shifted, pressing this one more time is going to get us to our caps locks mode, which is highlighted by the blue arrow. Pressing once more is going to get us to our lowercase. Going into our number settings, you can see you have a standard um, number pad. You have your regular punctuation marks over here. Pressing on this alternative punctuation mark on the bottom will get you to your directional arrows. Um, other more less or sorry other less common punctuation marks and finally your smiley faces across the top or your emoticon excuse me so going back to our abc let's type out our coin phrase dinner in a movie tonight um, let's get back to our capitalized so we'll start off so as you can see dinner's already right there so i can click it there or i can wait for it to come in the center um, most other keyboards highlight like for example if i wanted to put an is um, instead of highlighting it in orange like or green like other keyboards do, it puts its predicted word in the center. So anything that's bolded in the center is what it is going to insert if you press a punctuation. So for example, if I pushed question mark, oh, well, it did not do that. So it seems, sorry, so I apologize. Swift key only does space bars with those center words. Um, punctuation marks you can insert afterwards and we can go from there. So again, dinner and a movie. Again, I'll do this one more time to show you. It does not do the question mark, or it does do the question mark in incompleted words, but to do the movie, you have to push space, and then it inputs the movie. Then you push question mark on the side. So again, um, that's how you input on the Swift key method. What's nice about SwiftKey is it predicts your next word based on what you're typing. So for instance, if you always invite someone to a certain spot or you always send someone a certain phrased text message, eventually what you're going to be able to do is you can just click the entire phrase out on the top because SwiftKey really adapts to your typing style, um, what words you say after other certain words. So if you always say, what's up, it'll always then suggest up after what's rather than like the or other words. So for example, kind of pre-installed sentences it has so like, what do you think of the day? Something like that. So again, you can kind of click out phrases. Uh, when I was doing the Guinness World Text Recording, World Text Record, sorry, excuse me, paragraph on the Swift key, after I had typed it in three times, all I had to do is type the first two letters of the first word and I could literally click through the rest of the sentence and I got done in about 10 to 11 seconds. So 
once you have certain phrases and certain dictionaries built up in this, it's a really fast keyboard, and it's one that I use daily on my HTC Evo. So that is the keyboard basic features. Um, now we're going to jump into more of the advanced settings. Oh, let me do the voice to, or speech to text before I get into advanced settings. So, for example, you just click that. Dinner and a movie tonight? Question mark. Sorry, our Wi-Fi is kind of slow. Okay, so perfect. Um, it kind of shortens the phrase if you don't want to say tonight, or you just click that, inserts the phrase, and you're good to go. So that, again, is the basic settings, and we are going to now jump into the more advanced ones. So hold down your microphone key. Oops, sorry. Hold down your microphone key to get to your settings. Um, it has a guide on how to use you can go to your language modules to change your languages. What's kind of cool about SwiftKey is your usage stats. So right now, by using SwiftKey, Swift you have saved 35 key keystrokes, making you 45% more efficient. After you use it for a while, let me kind of show you. So on our SwiftKey, let's just jump in to a new message. And we'll go to our settings. Since I've used it for a while, I'll kind of show you what mine looks like. So you should stash on mine. You've saved 2,700 2, keystrokes, making you 25% more efficient. So again, it's going, to be, it's going to be based on how frequently you type the same phrase, how frequently you use those keywords above. But again, really great system and the one that I use on a daily basis. So let's jump back into here. And we'll show you more of those settings. So go into your input settings and this is going to have everything so you can choose your keyboard layout to be any of those four selections you can go your autocomplete will basically complete the word and insert a space if you push the space bar when your keys when your word predict is in the middle auto accept means the space always selects the middle space always selects middle prediction sorry i can't talk today um, again, auto caps, pretty standard stuff, voice recognition, acoustic feedback is just playing a sound every time you push a key, haptic feedback is vibrating every time you push a key, um, long press duration, so time needed to basically long press to get those alternate symbols and to long press for your numbers, so I'll show you that in a second, so right now it's at 800 milliseconds, um, you can set that which is kind of nice, and then the gesture sensitivity. So 25% of keyboard for your gestures. So going back up here, again, these are kind of all the settings for it. Let's test some of those out. So we'll go into our messaging. So for instance, that 800 milliseconds is how long you have to long press right there to get this menu. Um, and, and the gesture is just the, like I, like I showed you, the up and down, you can swipe down Oh, sorry, I pushed the home button. You can swipe down to hide the keyboard, swipe up to bring it up. So that is SwiftKey. Hopefully you enjoyed this demo of it. Definitely make sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, carries.net, or go to www.carries.net to see our full article reviewing all 12 keyboards and kind of seeing different screenshots. Also, we have some unreleased keyboard screenshots, so definitely make sure to check that out. And thanks for tuning in.